Miss Kinsess, part three. But I finally did it. For me? And in my favorite color. That's me. Who else has hair like that? Wow, this is so cool. Can you show me how to do this? Of course, my little star. Let's do it on the day when I'm feeling better. You should have made Carmen uglier on here. That's not nice. Chapter 4. Suyapa, pay attention. It's a lot of steps to remember. It's just like a diamond. You move to the left, then up, up to the right, and then down. It's not that hard. Oof, sorry, Suyapa. Can we pl take a break? We've been at it for hours. Tia, I think my toes need a break. Fine. Why don't you kids some buy some snacks at the Popera? Yeah, next door. Here's some money. Thank you. Hmm. I should really call my friends. Can I use the phone to call my friends? Sure. You can use the calling card next to the phone. Thanks. Dial the card number and then Sam's number. No one's picking up. Well, it's summer. It is summer. Maybe they're having too much fun without me. Suyapa, I need you to accompany Carlos to pick up your ceremonial pillow for the quinces. Why can't Carlos pick it by himself? Because I want you to personally thank the women who work on it. She's a friend of Abuela's and she made the pillow as a favor. Well, why can't she come by and drop it off? Su ya pa. Fine. Look at the sky. That's not a good sign. Why did you guys come along and stay back there with all the demons running around? I need some air. Buenas don, Doña Itzel. Good afternoon, Carlitos. Hello. We came to pick up the pillow for my cousin's quince. Oh, so it's your quince. Congratulations, dear. Thank you. Wait here. I'll get it for you. Yes, ma'am. Well, we can cross that off the list. What else is on there? Hmm. Let's see. I think all we have left is the party decorations, but they won't be ready until the end of the week. Ah! Esther! Esther, over here! What's happening out there? That turkey wants to kill my sister. <laughs> no, she just wants her baby back. Esther, put the baby down and we'll stop chasing you. Sorry, turkey mama. It was an accident. Thanks for the pillow. Hurry, hurry. Whew, we made it. Ugh, my hair. No, my manga. Hey, Abuela, looks like we're roommates tonight. I heard of kid I heard the kids take took over your room. Yeah, just for tonight. Most of them are leaving tomorrow. Thankfully it's the last day of for rehearsals. Was it bad? Siapa kept stepping on Carlos's feet and the triplets kept fighting the boys. I have my work cut out of the money tomorrow. Not for me tomorrow. Well, the dance is super complicated. No, it's not. You just suck at it. Ugh, whatever. Don't worry, you'll get better. Just work hard at it and stay motivated. Abola, what was your quince dance like? It wasn't fine until I forgot my routine. What? I f just froze up right in the middle of the dance floor. 
forgot what I ha was supposed to do next. That's my nightmare. So what did you do? I improvised. My dance partner and I just started twirling around in circles until the routine ended. That's so embarrassing. No, it was actually more fun that way. What's Im important is to have fun. It's your night too, you know. Hmm, I guess. Now get some rest, you all, and have a big day tomorrow. I hope I don't forget the dance moves. The next day. Sue, you need to spin into Carlos's, Carlos so he can grab you. Grab your other hand. How can people walk in these? All right, kids, time for a break. So, Yappa, come with me. I have something for you in Abuela's room. Getting better at dancing in those heels? Ay, Abuelita. I don't know how to... How I'll be able to... Um, what's that? I knew it was the perfect Ginsa dress when I saw it in the catalog. Plus, it was on sale. And by perfect, you mean a blob of pink vomit? So, yeah, but don't be ridiculous. It's so pretty. But it's so pink. Anna, you should have at least chosen a color so yeah, I would like. You mean black? I, mommy, it's a quince, not a funeral. But I like black. You're a strange girl. So, yeah, but go try it on. We want to see if it needs any alterations. But it hurts my eyes. Suyapa, so, remember our deal. Fine. Don't worry, Suyapita. I also dislike my dress. You too, Abuela? Bless my mother, but the dress she made was white and simple. I didn't reflect my personality at all. White? Like a wedding dress? Mm-hmm. That was the tradition back then. Now girls have so many options for colors and designs. I am so jealous. So, Abuelita, what uh, kind of dress would you have wanted? Hmm. Well, uh, I'd have a hard time choosing a favorite color, so I want a rainbow dress with a lot of ruffles that would have looked nice. That sounds exactly like you, Mommy. Oh boy, I'm gonna need more pins. I'll go find some. I hope this is the only pink thing that my king said. Well, in the meantime, reach the back wardrobe. I want to show Suyapita my dress. You still have it? I thought you didn't like it. It's still, uh, it's still my prized possession, and I'll show you why. <coughs> and I'll lift the skirt, show Suyapita. Yeah, but the surprise. <coughs> it's a small it's a small detail, but it was important for me to shine in my own way. Even if it was just the slightest bit. Promise me you'll find your a way to shine in your own small way too. Okay, Abuelita, I'll think about it. <laughs> That's my girl. All right, finally found the pins. Let's get this dress altered. I'm going to check on the kids. But after you're done, see up, up pack some clothes. We're leaving tonight to take the triplets home. And we're staying at your uncle Arturo's ranch for a few days. Fine. Chapter 5. My manga. Super Ninja Academy. It's pitch black out here. Why do we have to leave tonight? My mom wanted to make make crab soup it, before everyone arrived. It's so good. Hmm, with a bottle of Coke. It's perfect. I think there's a lady out in the dark. What? Shut up, there isn't. Maybe it's the ghost of... La Sui... Cecilia. No! Coming to scare you, 
into madness with her horrified Horrific face. Even if she's real, she only does that to drunk men. Not true. Our dad saw her on th- this road once, and he doesn't drink. Do you, Arturo, saw her? No way that happened. Yep, he escaped that day. It's true, and he also heard the griton on another night. El griton? No one knows what ha- it looks like or where it came from, but some say it's a ghost that roams these roads at night, letting out a horrible, piercing scream. Ah! Esther, you're hanging out with the triplets too much. Mommy, Papi! Mis amores, que bueno, que le gran. Tío, tío. Wow, you're both so tall. Tío, what happened? You have a wheelchair now. Horse riding accident last year. Thankfully, physical therapy has been helping me. Sorry to hear that. It's okay. I get to spend more time with my family now. Do any of you girls want to ride the horses for old times' sake? Absolutely not. No thanks. My little sister can't take a joke. Why don't we head inside? Dinner's ready for you. Buen provincial. You were right about the hot soup and cold soda. It's the perfect combo. Your abuelita sends her regards. Okay. Is that her on the phone? Can I talk to her for a sec? Okay, but make it quick. Abuelita isn't feeling too well. Is she okay? She'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Suya Pita. Hi, Abuela. Since, we, since we'll be here for a couple of days, I just wanted to talk about our project. Oh, t- taking advantage of being free from your quince duties? Smart kid. Yeah, but I'm not sure where to start. Hmm. Why don't you think of some questions to ask me, and we'll make art based on answers. On the answers, I can't think of any right now. No worries. Good art takes me t- time, Mija. Uh, why don't we talk talk tomorrow and think of something together? I'm feeling a little tired right now. Good idea. Thanks for your help, Abuela. Have a good night and feel better. Love you. I love you too, Suyapita. Nice drawing. Is that Abuelita? What? I'm not being sarcastic. It's really good. Ugh, whatever. Later that night. Ow, Carmen, move your feet. You're, they're freezing. Move where? I'm already on the edge of the bed. Then put on socks. Esther, stop moving so much. But I'm so itchy. Attack! Grr. Go back to your beds. I need some sleep. You're all boring. Ah! El Griton! Go to bed, all of you. The next morning. I barely slept around last night. I can't believe El Griton exists. Did you say Gretton? Did the girls try to scare you with that legend? We heard it last night. It was scary. Those rascals got you good. The sound you heard last night was probably our donkey, Joselito. Are you kidding me? It sounded awful. The devil baby strike again. I'm going to do some work. I forgot I had that in there. Oh. That reminds me, I should ask Mommy about camp. Gotta make sure she reserved a spot for me or or this will be all for nothing. She's in the hospital? I thought she was getting better. And the medicine isn't enough? Hey, Mommy. So, yeah, but your mother's on an important phone call. Okay, but it's a super quick question. I just want to know if you guys reserved a spot for me at camp. And I want to see if I can get into the same cabin as Sam. Maybe get matching sleeping bags. 
Oh, I'm not sure. Your mother wanted to be in charge of that, so you'll have to ask her. Yes, yes, whatever you say. I can't talk to you right now. Yapa. So, is that a yes? So, Yapa, let's go play soccer. Everyone out. Sorry, girls. Hurry up. The older kids versus the young. Yeah, we're going to win. Your goalpost is on, is the left one on the left. I'll be the goalie. Well, you're in a good mood. Mommy reserved my spot at camp. I'm finally going to do something cool for summer vacation. You don't consider our trips here cool enough? <laughs> Are you kidding me? There's nothing cool about visiting family in the country. We don't even have cable TV here. So, what's considered cool to you? I don't know. Skiing, mountain climbing, sightseeing Japan in Japan. And are those things you would even do? I don't know. Maybe. It'd be something cool to talk about when I go back to school. Yeah, I guess. Or you can just look around you. You have so to admit, this is pretty cool. We don't have this back in New York. I know. Plus, are you exhausted from trying to impress people all the time? What do, what do you know about that? You don't seem to have any trouble making friends. Girl, I go to high school too. Ah! I used to worry about what people thought, thought all the time. It drained my energy so much. So I stopped, stopped, and I'm much happier now. You guys are cheating. Give us a head start. It's not our fault. You short legs can't keep up. We won. We won. She stabilized for now, but I need to take the car to the city and... They cheated, used their hands, and carried the ball to the goal. Look at you two. Co you're covered in dirt. The triplets started throwing mud pies at us. Why don't you girls go wash up? I'll show you where to take showers. Thank you, Tia. We're going, we're supposed to shower out here? What if someone sees us? Oh, don't worry. There are are no peeping toms around here. Everyone showers outside. But you can leave your underwear on if you want. Holler, holler if you need anything. This is so embarrassing. I don't know how how you do it. What if someone sees you? Eh, I just want to be clean. It feels like that donkey is watching us. It's so creepy. Then don't look at it. <sighs> it's still itchy. You're still itchy? Do you have dandruff? Let me see. Oh, no. Lice? You kids are too careless. Well, I guess my keen say is canceled. Nice try. Ow! One of you brats is going to pay for this. I can't have lice. Looks like we're going to have to shave your head. <laughs> Ow! We're going to need more shampoo. I'll get, head out and get some. Hey, Tia, do you think I could call my friend from back home? Yeah, I think I have some money left on my phone card. You, you know how to use it, right? Yep. Thank you. Hello? Hi, may I speak with Sam? I'm Sue, a friend from school. Wow, you sound so dorky over the phone. Oh, shut up. You weenus. I hate talking on the phone. So, how's your summer so far? Pretty fun. My mom's summer home has a pool, and I've been swimming all week. Wow. That's so cool. How about you? My family is driving me nuts. They're forcing me to have a quinceanera party. What? You're having a party? 
I know, right? I've been so busy preparing for the stupid party that I barely had time for my assignment. But on the bright side, my mom is letting me go to camp with you guys. Yay! That's so exciting! Dude, it's going to be fun. I wonder if we'll be in the same cabin. I hope so. Hey, let's call the camp and request for that we be bunkmates. Is that something you can do? Yeah, totally. I think our parents have to call and give their permission. That's so cool. I'll call them now, before my phone card runs out of minutes. Bye! Is Mommy back? No, not yet. Are you busy right now? Can you call the camp and see if they can bunk me with my friend? Sure thing. Hello, you've reached Camp Will Willow. How can we help you? Hi, I'm calling to see if my daughter can choose her bunkmate for the summer. That's totally possible. Is she registered? She should be. Uh, she should be. Her name is Suyapa Yisel Gutierrez. G-U-T-I-E-R-R-E-Z. Let's see. Gutierrez, Gutierrez. Hmm, I'm sorry, sir, but her name isn't in the system. Oh. Did she... Bao Suyapa, right? Ask her. Can you check again? It's Suyapa. S-U-Y-A-P-A. -A. Hmm. No Suyapa either. That's odd. Uh, well, if that's the case, can we sign up again? My apologies, sir, but our registration deadline was last week. We can no longer accept campers. Oh, is that so? Thank you for your help. Of course. Have a wonderful day. Sorry, Suyapa. Mommy lied? Phew! Thank goodness they had two bottles left. I'm not doing my quince anymore. Per pardon? Poppy called the camp and they said I'm not in the system. Do you ha even ha call to reserve my spot? Oh, right, the camp. That's what I forgot. But you told me you called. What? When? This morning. I think there may have been a miscommunication. See, up, I've been so busy lately. I don't remember that conversation. But I kept my end of the promise. We can figure it out later, but we are having your quince. I want to do fun things, but you're not always saying no f to everything. I'm never being to, been to, or even to a friend's house to a sleepover, or even to a friend's house. It is ridiculous. It makes me look like a I'm a baby who can't do anything. Are you crazy? Let you go to a stranger's home? It's too dangerous. But you let Carmen do whatever she wants. It's not fair. I don't let Carmen do any of that. Whoa, hey, don't bring me into this. You're too controlling. I'm 15. Let me do the teen things. Then why are you still making me do quinces? See, Papa, that's not true. I do control everything you do. Suyapa, I don't know what's happening. I'm going to get the doctor down the road. No, wait, wait, I think she's having a panic attack. Sue, I need you to take a deep breath in. Count to five and then let it out. And now repeat. Breathe in and out. How are you feeling now? I feel a little better. Oh my God. Anna, it's about your mother. Do Doña Rita has passed away. Chapter 6 Here, you should eat something. Wow, I haven't seen these in a while. That's my favorite one, with the weird cat. We... We're going to do a travel log together. Oh, yeah? So, how are you feeling today? Any panicky feelings? No, I'm okay. Mostly sad about Abuelita. I can't believe I had a panic attack. I didn't think they were real. Oh, they're real, all right. I get them sometimes when, I feel, when I'm feeling super anxious or really frustrated. It's awful. 
Really? You? Yeah, between getting ready for college, friend, friend drama, and arguments with Mommy, it can all be too much. How did you know about the breathing technique? I believe they taught me a long time ago. It helps a lot. I you know, if you're ever feeling overwhelmed, you can speak with a counselor at school. I see one every week. You do? Yeah, it's no big deal. I'm here, too. You can always talk to me. I might just take you up on the off on your offer. Cool. Come on, let's go pay our respects to Abuelita. Okay. I've never seen Mommy cry before. The next day. Siapa, Esther, it's time to send off your abuelita. Chapter 7 In honor of Abulita, how are you feeling? Coming to Basil Lisa is bittersweet. You're well loved coming here. Really? Mm hmm. She even, she even named you after this place. I don't know that. She said the vir the Virgin of Siapa always answered her prayers. You didn't have an easy life here. My father left us, and your Abuelita raised us on your own. It was tough. So when I turned 15, I migrated to the U.S. to find work and live with some relatives in Texas. You did that at my age? Yeah. Your Abuelita didn't like it, but I was able to help out by sending money back home. It helped her a lot. I was able to pay for my sister's quince, too. Which is why I want you to have a quince. I want to give you girls the best life I never had to sell and celebrate our family traditions together. As your parent, I really thought I knew what, I, what was best for you. I'm sorry I forced it on you. I love you, Siapa. I love you too, Mommy. Well, I guess you're relieved from your quinceanera duties. I'll have to figure out a way to return all, your de all those decorations. Look how beautiful she is. Who's hungry? The stand over there sells some tasty yuca frita and pu pasas. I guess I could eat something. Hey, Tia, can you pass me the Rapolo? I want to do the quince. No more chips for you. Eat your pu pusas. I said, I want to do the quince. Huh? Siapa, what do you mean? The quince was important to Abuelita. You saw how excited she was for it. I don't think it, it's appropriate to ha have it right after passing. Can you have it next year? Abuelita always says I turn 15 only once and we should cherish this family's tradition. I want to honor her and keep our plans to have it. We all know it was, it was she who wanted. Please, I don't know. Didn't she always say that she wanted a life party instead of a funeral? Oh my God, she really did say that. Mommy was very unique. But we were go if we were going to do this, I want to do it my way. So, what do you think? Okay, Suyamba, I guess the keen is back on. Thank you. Let's enjoy our food. We have a lot of work ahead of us. Chapter 8. Preparations for my quince. To-do list. Practice dance routine. Make a party. Favorite surprise. Quince duties. Mommy's in charge of guests. Papi's in charge of decorations. Carmen's in charge of hair and makeup. Esther's in charge of... What can I help with? A few days later. Okay, I got the photocopies. Where do you want me to put them? Oh, I think Suyapo wants those party favors. Just put one in each bag. 
coming through.